and welcome back to Riker Rides. My name is Beth, in case you don't know. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the videos always. Thank you so much. Don't forget and hit the like button and subscribe and all that kind of good YouTube stuff. Okay, let's get to it. Crazy excited. Um, I have, I think I'm one of the very first to get the new Can-Am windshield. It is the Adventure windshield. It is 150% bigger than the sport windshield that I already have on here. So I don't know how to measure 150% bigger, but I'm assuming it looks like this. I haven't unboxed it yet. So you're gonna be with me while I unbox it and see it for the first time. Um, on the website, it kind of looks like it's the same, but it should be a lot bigger. Um, there's different ways to buy this. If you already have um, your sport windshield on it and you wanna to switch to the adventure, that's the easiest way to do it because you can just buy just the new windshield and I believe it's somewhere about $100 cheaper to buy it that way if you just need the windshield versus the windshield and the bracket. So I already have the windshield and the bracket obviously so I'm upgrading to the bigger one and if you want a full install video check out the go easy on me it's one of my very first installs my bike is all black I think it was my second install I did uh, one of my second videos so it's really rough i was in the beginning phases of all this um so if you want to check i'll put the link somewhere over here so if you already have the windshield like i do and you want to upgrade i'm going to post a link in the top right corner of the screen for you so you can click on it and figure it it'll have instructions how to do the whole thing including the bracket but because I already have the bracket, it's going to be a very quick install and it's really more of a comparison between the two windshields, between the Adventure and the Sport. So again, this is the Adventure one. Let's open it up and see what we've got inside. You could order this directly from BRP, um, from the Can-Am website or you could order it i'm sure your local dealerships are probably starting to get them in now too you can always swing by there and order it directly from them so they send you the four bolts that you need so it's just as easy as popping those off and here is the windshield Ready? You guys ready for this? Unveiling. Ta da da da! Ready? It's like a peep show. Da -na 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 -na. Oh. Wow, that is. Oh my god, I didn't realize it has like a second wind deflector in there. That is crazy cool. So, this is really neat. I did not know this when I bought it or when I got it. So, it has a separate opening here. I guess for a better wind deflection and it comes wow this is so neat this is totally different than the existing windshield i thought it was gonna be the exact same thing but bigger so if you want to look at the inside as well that is really cool totally different than what i thought and again it is completely adjustable up and down with this lever just like the older model wow that is so cool i cannot wait to try this out so let's, uh, let's look at them together. If my cameraman would walk around front for me. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So as you can see from my picture, that I, that I right here, um, you can see that when I'm sitting on the bike, where my head goes so i'm gonna take an i'm gonna install it take another picture for you to show it but that's pretty cool okay so you can tell it is noticeably bigger 150 percent bigger i don't know how to do those numbers but it definitely looks bigger it definitely i just everything about it looks more fierce i guess i don't know all right so let's um take the old one off and put the new one on okay so i'm using a t25 a torx 25 to take out the existing bolts
Okay, so to put it on, um, I found it easier to put the two pieces together, put the bolt in there, and now we're gonna put it in the top one. So this nut is, you're gonna go the, the flat side against, um, not the white side, but the flat side against where you need to screw it in. So you just push it in and then, no, I got it. I got it. So then you wanna hold your, <laughs> I didn't say that, okay, bleep. That's a little tricky because it'll fall out if you're not holding it in tight and tighten it. And that way, once you get the one on, the rest will get stay on nice. And you don't want to make it too tight because you want a wiggle room to line up the other holes as well. Okay, so once again, you put the nut in and hold it in nice and tight back there. Now these have two washers, a rubber one and a metal one for a nice snug fit. Now I'm going to Okay, this is tight. Not too too tight. You don't want to strip anything. Just be a nice tight fit. Again, this is a T25 Torx bit that I'm using. And let's see how it fits and how it feels. I can't wait to ride it. So, this is in the highest position. It is on nice and tight. So, um, for me personally, when I'm riding, I don't want to see in between I don't want to see half over the steering, over the windshield and half under the windshield. So I'm going to lower it a little bit for me. And that's a much better fit for me. So I can see over the, over the windshield works great for me because that's, I, I want to be able to see that. So this is very cool. Again, the wind is going to come through here, hit this wind deflector match up with this one and then blast over me so i'm gonna go take it out for a spin and uh, i'll take you guys with me and, and let you know how i feel about it I, I i just cannot wait this is gonna be awesome 